And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Well, when we compare how much rain has officially fallen at Greater Lafayette, that's the Purdue Airport, from June to where we are in October right now, it ranks as the fifth driest June to October period since 1879. Now, the Purdue records uh, go back from 1879 to 1943. Then during World War II, the records were taken uh, from the Purdue Air at the Purdue Airport uh, from that time up to the present. So that kind of gives you an idea uh, of where the, the data comes from. But you can see 1893 was the driest June to October period, a little more than six inches of rain. 1908, there's 1894. Again, these are pretty big drought years here. We actually had a drought in 1991 as well, and then there's 2022. You might be wondering, well, where's 1936 or 1934? The thing about the 30s, was yes, June, July, and August were very dry, but one thing you notice is a lot of times you, you caught up with the rainfall in the fall during the 1930s. This is kind of just lingering on and on. We're considered abnormally dry viewing area wide, but you go back to central Illinois, it's moderate drought in Minnesota, parts of Iowa, Missouri, down into, even into Kentucky. It is moderate to as high as severe extreme and even exceptional drought out here in southwest Missouri, and the pattern does not support a good deal of rain. Uh, we have got a historic storm headed for Alaska that may have the surface pressure of a Category 3 type hurricane that will dive in here over the weekend that will dislodge the cold, send it south, bring us two mornings in the 20s next week. But you all know, also notice a block here over Greenland, so we're basically funneling all the cold air southward, and it's it's pretty incredible that it's not going to be actually colder next week than the way it's looking. Again, when you got a ridge here, ridge here, the cold is just funneled right into the Midwest, and it really seems to be tied to what's going on out in the North Pacific and Alaska, and also the blocking going on over Greenland right now. So the weather is interconnected around the world, and all that will work together to bring us 20s next week. We are in the low 30s tomorrow morning. It's a windy afternoon now. Some increasing clouds, pretty high uh, grass and field fire risk with 60 to 66 for highs. And for the frenzy, even though the air will be dry, it will become overcast and eventually we will be able to get some showers through that dry air after about 630 or 7 tomorrow evening. It'll be a breezy to windy evening. And as we rain through some of that dry air, we're going to fall from low 60s to low 50s between kickoff and halftime tomorrow evening. Speaking of that, Purdue versus Nebraska at Ross 8 on Saturday, becoming partly cloudy, maybe a small isolated shower late in the day, breezy, a 61 degree high, and we will be in the 50s at kickoff and down into the 40s by the time we get to halftime. All right, and there are Saturday's highs. Uh, mid to upper 50s north at 60 to 63 as you go southward. All right, there's future cast again. Notice tomorrow the clock here and some of the clouds coming in from the west. There are some of those showers after 630 or 7 tomorrow evening, making it down to the ground. There's 1 a.m. Then it clears out and then a few more clouds and maybe an isolated shower later on Saturday uh, before we see a little more sun on Sunday with 61 and then we're down into the 20s for lows Monday and Tuesday nights.